Okay, so can you please just be discuss between yourselves how much OBs relied on teamwork and how all that worked? <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, just the leader of a team, so he should start. Yeah. It's, it's interesting the people who are sitting in the room at the moment, mm. because the people who are, in, are here are the people who wanted to come. Yeah. The people who, who aren't here didn't want to come. The people who came show that they had a passion yeah. for television yeah. and a pride in television. When we joined the BBC, mm. It was quite a thing, not just for us, but for our families, that we joined the organisation, the mm -hmm. BBC organisation. Yeah. A lot of people saw it as a job. They're not here. No, the true. people who saw it as, as, as a passion yeah. are yeah. here. Well, your whole family essentially joined the BBC when you joined. Well, that's very yeah. true. Yeah. And your family yeah. and, uh, and yeah. everybody relied on strong people at home because you were away so much. Yes, yeah. Yeah. that's right. Weekend. Yeah. And especially the wife at home didn't divorce the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, a lot did divorce the yeah. wife. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, the BBC strength. paid more. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they didn't. Start with. Wasn't they didn't. Cost effective I, I tell you. No, I've seen more. I've time. seen a payslip today. We both joined in the early sixties. We did. And uh, your net pay in the first month, I know it was a strange month, was twenty-two pounds a month. That's right. Mm. So we didn't join for the money, mm. and it's very strange that when ITV started. And they didn't train people as the BBC had trained us. People defected to ITV, but we all knew the people who would. Mm. Yeah. And that a lot of yeah. that was yeah. financial. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. 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 It, wasn't, it, it, uh, it, it was a strange thing because we all here, everybody in here was trained. Mm. Training nowadays costs a great deal of money. Mm. In those days, we joined, and we joined people who had more knowledge than us, but were very keen and able to pass that on to us. Yeah, and for that, that we all absolutely. we all uh, are very thankful to I carry mean, on their knowledge. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. willingly given. Yeah. Willingly, yeah. 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 Well, it's it interesting they call it service, don't they? Mm. I mean, yeah. it, it, it's weird, really, that they call it. It was like joining the army or something. It really well, was actually, actually so joined the service. I, I like it when people ask me, it was like being in the services, because mm. yes. you were on a crew, you yeah. saw more of the crew than you saw of your family. So yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Literally, you, yeah. I was on one crew for 10 years, because I was yes. quite happy there, Nobody, you know, I was quite happy to stay there. You had more in common in some ways, you would yeah. continue strands of conversation, and sometimes you, you, you know, your continuity then, there was it in your home yeah. life. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and not being facetious, Mm -hmm. uh, but really? the crew became your family, yeah. and that's that and could lead to problems. Really well, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I, think, I, I think, think you saw more of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. when you went home, yes. you were more or less an interloper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was quite likely that when you woke up in the morning, you were more likely to see your senior cameraman than you were to see your wife. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it was. But if somebody made a mistake, mm -hmm. they never stood up and started yelling and screaming. It wasn't their fault. Mm -hmm. If they did, they'd be treated with contempt. Oh, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Don't you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. You, you put your hand up <laughs> and then and admitted your mistake, yes. and the whole team then got together yeah. and sorted it. Sorted, sorted yeah. it. Yeah. Keep the program on. Yeah. But the guy who got it wrong mm -hmm. did not have to buy a lot of beer. Until <laughs> 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 so, so the disciplinary interview the following month. Yeah. 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 But that's the point. You said he did have to buy a heck of a lot of beer. Now you said that in a flippant way, but it was true. You could have your spats during the day, and you were working under pressure. Therefore, there were tended to be, di be disagreements. Yeah. But when you got to the pub or the hotel in the evening, it was a pint of beer and you shook hands and it was all forgotten for the next day. Mm. Yes. No grudges were carried. No, 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 there was no, no politics within the crew. No. And, 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 and funnily enough, that's happened here this week. Mm. It takes you back, doesn't it? When we all sit mm. down, I think it's been quite a, a good thing that we all sit down for a communal that's dinner. Right, yes. mm. And we all sit yes, down yes, to eat the same yes, thing. Yes, yes. Mm. And, and, and that used to happen in those days, and, 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 and that's where you bonded in the evenings, because we didn't go didn't up to our rooms and watch television, you sat and talked, and sorted out problems you'd have that day ready for the next day. You weren't being paid to do so. Or you helped for the, the, the other thing that was said was that when you went out for 
dinner in OB crew, it took an hour to eat the meal and three hours to work the bill out. Yes. <laughs> yes. Unless, unless you were working on London Five. Uh, rule 13. Rule 13. Rule, rule 13. No. Go on. Whatever you had, the bill was split equally. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. what with everybody? Yes. Yeah. 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 So whether you just had a sandwich or something, it, it was no messing around. Well, I didn't have the soup, and you had the yeah. stuff. Yeah. Everyone would say, right, that's it. So everyone get, would order the most expensive. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Did encourage overeating. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think the biggest joy, really, for me was your boss's name was Dave. Or Don mm. or John. Was it wasn't it? Mr. Uh, or yeah. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. It was. Yeah. A, it yeah. was a family thing. Yeah. Yes. And that relaxed you because mm. you felt you could talk to them. You didn't have to go and see Mr. So and So yes. or whatever. Mm. In fact, the thing was that sort of in those days you had the sort of you were away from the base and the backup from base, mm. and you had to make it work. Yeah. So yeah. 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 What yeah. Work. With what you had to say, mate. Yes. 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 So everybody backed exactly each other up. That's why we were there. Well, exactly why you were there. And to be fair. It's been the same watching everybody this week. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, the, the way people have struggled to yeah. lift yeah. the Emmy, and, yeah. and, and you all sorted it out. You know, it would have been nice if you'd have joined in. <laughs> I think we all found that if we did a reasonable day's work, we got a fairly duff program out. If we all worked to the highest standard we could possibly achieve, then we began to get programmes that were really worth watching. Mm. The difference with the gear in, in the days we're talking about is that it was fixable on site. Yes. Yes. We're at much yeah. more than solid state stuff now that you had spare boards, spare yeah. tubes, you always had a set of spare camera mm. tubes, uh, you know, and soldering arms worked, you know, and people would be in there so fixing boards. And you could see the components. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. right. Yeah. It was such, that's what I mean. The gear yeah. was such that you could mend it, yes. but it if and when it, it went. But it was more necessary. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. just the maintenance of it, it was the fact that its overall performance was generally fairly low. So to get it up to a good standard, you had to, Keep it was it. an art form, yeah. almost, to get the performance out of the gear, um, both in pictures and I'm sure sound as well, but in particular getting yeah. the technical side of cameras up, mm. up to a decent standard, mm. um, was a continuing challenge. It wasn't just a question of getting it to work, mm. it was getting it to work and then work very well. But Dave well put enough. his finger on that because in those days you had to make things work. Mm. Now, nowadays things generally work anyway, yes. and if yeah, they right. don't, you throw it away and get yeah, another one. Right. Yeah. In those yeah. days we had very yeah. few yeah. of anything yeah. Oh, yeah. because yeah. everything was new and innovative, and we had very few of them. Yeah. And we had to make those work. I can tell you my hairiest moment was um, I, I did an OB on uh, um, number 23. And we were doing the first, it was the first time that uh, the Queen Mother had allowed us to, allowed the BBC to uh, take pictures of her going to church after, at Christmas, uh, on Christmas Day. And um, we went there and it had already been rigged, the, the uh, um, electrical side of it had already been rigged. So we of course plugged in and expected everything to work. Unbeknown to us, uh, local radio got got onto this as well, and so had a, um, a ITV and the news feeds and so on, and they're all plugging into the same sockets, you see. <laughs> so it got to about five minutes before we were on air, and uh, the inevitable happened really that somebody else came along. In this case, it was Radio Links who thought, "Oh, it's uh, five minutes to go. I'll just check my uh, reserve transmitter." Switches on his reserve transmitter and everything goes black <laughs> and suddenly uh, the, the phone rings and it's the other end and they're saying, what's going wrong, what's going on, all I can see is colour bars. <laughs> uh, to which I said, have you got a reserve feed in the news where they were sending some pictures out? So I said, well, at least switch to that and they did. And then of course we flew out and tried to work out what it was and about two minutes to go, we were back on air again. <laughs> I was doing the Grand Prix at Silverstone one year and we'd had a bit of trouble with generators and they've been swapped over. And I strongly suspect that the reason for the subsequent fault was that the standby generator had not been topped up with fuel. But what happened was about something like 20 laps from the end of the Grand Prix, the whole main site lost its power, live on air. And there was a bit of a scurry out to the outside world. And the fix entailed removing the bus bar connections from the failed generator and moving the tails across to what was not considered to be a very reliable generator, but it was the only one left. Yeah. 
So that was cabled up, started, and of course using the infamous NATLOG system, which it was at that time, although we could see pictures within seconds, mm. we couldn't use them for five or six minutes. And we actually got an operational scanner back something like 10 or 12 laps before the end of the race. Um, that's fairly marginal. Yes. Yeah, but that <laughs> happened a few times though, didn't it? I mean, we did that on cricket. Yeah. And, and there are sort of wickets going down and networks screaming at you, yeah. you know, what's happened, what's happened, and how long will it take for you to be back on That's air? Always you know, it's always yeah, how yeah. long yeah. will yeah. it take yeah. to be back yeah. on yeah. air. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. and you're sort of yeah. trying to relay, well, yeah. you know, there, there are men running round outside mm. and they'll be doing as much as they can, and, you know, we'll let you know. But it was constant, you know, how long will yeah. it be? I had that on the golf where they kept ringing up how long you're going to be, how long you and I said, right. well, two choices, I can talk to you on the telephone or I can carry yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. choice is yours. And they couldn't cope with that. They kept ringing up. Yeah. How long? How long? Yeah. They couldn't That's understand I could do one or the other. Well, so the first day of, of 18 days at Sheffield, <coughs> oh. the network producer who was going to be doing the weekend that we finished, she was on saying, what time do you think the final will finish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, 17 Somebody's days to go. Don't ask me on the first day. I won't even know on the last day. You saw these people came from a different planet. You, you say about losing power. I, I gained another Silverstone when I used to do the big hoist uh, for years there. Yeah. And it, you're saying about camera faults. You never know whether it, it's... it's it, it, you lose, you're you're on a camera, it suddenly goes dead. You don't know whether somebody at the bottom of your rostrum has pulled the cable out. You don't know whether something has gone up in your camera. Or whether it's everything. And all you can do is see how others react. And um, we were in the middle of final qualifying for the British Grand Prix. Suddenly my camera goes dead. So I think, oh, and, and I was over the compound. So I just looked out, you know, 100, 240 feet below and thought, well, if nothing happens in five seconds, it's my camera. And five seconds went, every door opened, people <laughs> fell out. Literally, Steve yep. Whitaker fell out the scanner, you know, tripped over, opened the generator, dragged the door open. The, the spark, the, the Jenny driver who was asleep, fell out the door, <laughs> and uh, they ran out of fuel. Oh, they ran yeah. out of fuel or something. Same yeah. problem. Yeah. Yeah. Same um, problem. And, uh, you know, and then suddenly it's like ants running around. All Should that. be a hanging effect. Yeah. <laughs> so I just sat down and got my book out for five minutes, the power came up, and we carried on. Yeah. You know, but, um, yeah. Um, initially, I didn't realise that um, as a PA, you'd probably be the only female on, on the unit. Um, but generally, um, people were quite nice to you. You would, you would have the odd person that was, was difficult, particularly if you know, location catering wasn't ready when you said it might be and things like that. But I, I think generally, it, it was okay. Um, the thing that I did get upset about was when you'd go to planning meetings and, or rehearsal days and all the ladies' loos were locked and oh, things yeah. like that. Um, but I think you, if, you didn't, if you couldn't cope with it, you wouldn't have stayed in OB. Yeah. You'd have had to say to somebody, look, really, you know, I'm away from home a lot, or I don't like the culture of it, or because, you know... Or the lack of culture. Well, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you know, there would be easy drugs, and people would say, you know, pardon me, but... And then they'd still say it anyway, so it really didn't matter. Um, I don't think my mum appreciated it because my language did get a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, she used to, always used to say to me, you didn't used to swear before you went to the BBC. Yeah. <laughs> you do now, and, then, you know, and I don't fully admit I do. But um, I, I just think you either cope with it or you just would have said, you know, please can I go back to the studios or can I go to film and things like that. Well, you're just another member of the family, really. It, it, you know, well, it, it, it's part of that structure. We would, everybody would have stood behind you, had you had any problems with anybody? Yeah, you know, I think, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, as I say, yeah. I always thought of you as a pretty boy. <laughs> <laughs> but there were many times when you Not were as pretty as you, <laughs> Generally, people were quite good if, if you were working very late, and we did work very late on snooker and, and things like that, you know, it was gone midnight, and if you had to go to the car park, yeah. you know, like mm. Preston car park, was mm. quite petrified. I think yeah. even yeah. you guys might have been a bit yeah. scared yeah. walking yeah. through there yeah. and sort of half past midnight, and particularly when the Yorkshire Ripple was loose and things like that. But people were always quite good and say, you know, let me know when you're, when you're heading off and, and we'll walk with you and things like that. So um, generally people were, were quite good like that, I think. Um, 
I think you should ask the kit. <laughs> I wish it had worked a bit better. But, uh, yeah. I think it was 45 years old. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well Which is stuff. frustrating because we want to yeah. make the better thing. Just, yeah. Yeah, well, quality yeah. wise. The whole ethic of it, as we've said, is we just try to make it work. Yes. Doing the yeah. programme is why we're here. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, right. that's what we're for. It's particularly difficult because. Not that it's just 45 years old, but 20 of those 45 years have been spent in the... In your garage. Garage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not in my garden. <laughs> and I think that's, that's made it much tougher to give a demonstration of what yeah. it was like at that time, mm. um, which would have been really nice to have been able to do. But, I mean, life but it, is life. it was always going to be frustrating. In yeah. some ways, it was a miracle that I, I couldn't believe it. We got four cameras working, Absolutely. you know, yeah. like the, the, yeah. with some rolling humbars yeah, sure. yeah. all sort of day. <laughs> but, but it did work, you know, after a fashion. And I think the, the feeling when we were doing the line-up, you know, something hadn't done line-ups for years. Yes. Yeah. The camera looking at a chart and trying to remember where, you know, red vertical linearity yeah. or where, the, you know, trying to do the right twist and things like that. And when we found it, it was quite, it was quite satisfying. It's quite satisfying, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Quite satisfying yeah. but um, it was the day after, though. <laughs> yes. yeah. Yeah. But to think that that you know, th in in twenty sixteen, I'd have been spent a day mm. behind a, an ME two thousand and one mm. again. Um, would, you'd never have imagined it, really. Yeah. So um, I, I think we managed to sort of cover the when we had problems between us, we managed to find. The solutions of the sort that we would have found 40 well, odd years yeah, ago. Yeah. Well, yeah. It yeah. Gradually yeah. Came, but it gradually yeah. came back yeah. with yeah. some of the detail in this. Yeah, yeah. 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 Quite, quite a lot of it's all in there yeah. somewhere. Yeah. But yeah. we'd have probably only had one of those issues on a yes. programme. Yes. So I think for everybody, failure was not an option. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I think we all yeah. Yeah. let yeah. the team down. Yeah. Yeah. You would let the team down. But it was obviously you didn't want the programme to fail, you didn't want to fail in front of your. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody needed yeah. to tell you that you'd gone wrong. You felt absolutely yes. horrible yeah. yourself. Yeah. 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 The feeling that maybe you yeah. made yeah. a mistake. Yeah. 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 I think that the memory I'll take away from this is the fact that we were given a deadline for effectively what was going to be a live transmission. Mm. And as that as the clock ticked round mm. and, and Jane started to count us in yeah. at the beginning of that program, I felt yeah. that. Uh, the years rolled back and we yeah. were all suddenly working as a team. The adrenaline yeah. was flowing yeah. and for 20 minutes we were all focused on yeah. making it yeah. work. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and then there was this wonderful relief afterwards and this sort of self-congratulatory yeah. program. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, this program euphoria yeah. 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 in the past would have taken us straight down the pub for a, a good old yeah. chinwag. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>